Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently a little after 8 o'clock on July 10th, 2018. Murder Dog and I are currently in a, uh, a 7-Eleven parking lot. We, uh, we just had to go, I just had to run to an Amazon locker to pick up some things I ordered. Uh, one of which was uh, for my upcoming camping trip this weekend, something I meant to have this entire time, a camping shovel. Uh, I ordered one of those, got a decent deal on it, going to test that out, probably do a review on it at some point. Uh, and also, I needed to get a new beard and mustache trimmer because my last one broke uh, partway into me shaving the last time. <laughs> Uh, I was kind of a mess. Luckily, I had a backup I forgot about, but it's not the best thing in the world, and it's kind of uh, kind of hurts a little bit to use. <laughs> so, had to pick up another uh, replacement for that too. So, we just picked those up. So, I wanted to record this quickly while it was still light out because it. I keep forgetting that you know it stays light until like eight eight thirty, and then all of a sudden the, it just gets really really dark in a hurry. So, when I end up doing videos too late, we we see the you know you see the light change in the video. It gets kind of it annoys me. I don't know if it annoys anybody else. Anyway. So since uh, since we recorded yet last, uh, Murder Dog and I uh, once again stayed at our new uh, favorite stealth camping spot. Uh, we got there pretty early again. Ended up setting up everything and uh, hanging out and watching uh, watching a movie or two, and then uh, got up early this morning. Woke up a little before six o'clock, and uh, it was nice out already. You know, sat out on my back porch, had my coffee. And since it was so early and I had to take Murder Dog to the vet at 11.45, I figured we would uh, take a ride out to the Indian Reservation to pick up some more cheap cancer sticks because uh, I've paid a little more than I would like to. Well, I shouldn't. I would like to pay none. You know, I, I really got to get off these things. But anyway, uh, when there is an option to get them for like, you know, under 350 a pack, it's just I got to drive an hour to get uh, an hour, hour and a half to get out there. Um, you know, I, I sometimes forget to do that, but we took care of that today since we had uh, a little time before the vet appointment and uh, I knew I wouldn't see the kids uh, before that anyway. So we headed out there, uh, got stuck in traffic towards the end of it. So it did take about an hour and a half, but picked up a few cartons and uh, made our way back, went to the dog park for a little bit and then headed off to her appointment so she could get another blood test for her hyperthyroidism. And uh, hopefully this is the last one. Got to wait to hear back from the vet. Um, I mean, it says on the little bottle of pills they gave me that she's supposed to come back in another four weeks for another test. I hope not because this is like 75 bucks a pop and this is already the third one, the second one, maybe third one she's had to do. So I hope it's the last. I hope they finally have the uh, medication at the right levels so uh, we can move on and just spend the money on the pills every month because, you know, poor murder dog back there. Yeah, she unfortunately, at least according to the vet, is going to have to be on these for the rest of her life. But... Anyway, otherwise, she seems to be in good shape. So after that, we uh, tried to hook up with the kids. Unfortunately, they were both having a rough day, not feeling very well. Neither of them wanted to leave the house at all. Um, and uh, one of my girls ended up with a pretty, I guess uh, she ended up getting a headache and uh, some kind of cough or something. I don't know if she caught something else now. So they ended up staying in the house all day. And that meant Murder Dog and I had to find things to do. So kind of drove around for a while found a couple of different parks to hang out for a little bit went back to another dog park for a while and then ended up uh whatchamacallit oh yeah then uh ended up inadvertently stepping into a live stream on discord with a couple of friends of mine <laughs> uh, i hopped on the discord call knowingly i kind of forgot that my uh, my buddy Bodie has a tendency to record at all times kind of like i do when i'm in control of the uh, situation <laughs> Um, so we were live streaming. Apparently, he was he was playing some game. I can't remember the name of it now. I'm not a big PC gamer, but whatever. He was live streaming that, and then having a conversation with a bunch of us. And we covered a wide range of topics. I ended up sitting there for a few hours, um, and that was kind of fun because it's been a while since I've got to, I've talked to those guys anyway. So it was good to catch up, and you know, we talked about a lot of different interesting things. Um, if I could find the link for that, because he he streamed it on D Live, I'll try to uh, link it in the show notes. Because uh, I don't even remember what the heck we talked about, but it was a few hour conversation. And then I finally headed off in order to come down to the 7-Eleven to pick up my stuff from the locker. And then, like I said, I wanted to record this quick. And as uh, soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to try to upload it really quick. And then Murder Dog and I are going to try to hit the dog park one more time before it gets too dark. And then probably head off to our, uh, our, spot, our camping spot for the night. And tomorrow we have to, well, we get up pretty early anyway, but yeah, tomorrow we got to bring the, uh, bring the old element into the shop. Uh, it's due for some work. 
uh, you know, basic stuff too, which I normally do on my own, but I don't feel like digging through my storage unit for all my tools and everything. Uh, and plus I don't feel like doing the, doing an oil change and tire rotation in the middle of the parking lot where my storage unit is kept. So I'm just going to pay to have it done this time. And I also just want to get everything looked at, make sure it's all ship shape to, uh, to start traveling again, because like I said, this weekend, I'm going to head out to PA to do a little camping. And then with the court case, you know, the trial supposedly coming up in now less than two weeks, uh, hopefully, uh, things will finally get taken care of and I can find out that I can leave permanently and then I can go start scouting out locations and also have to go make that trip to South Dakota while I'm at it. So probably be a good idea to make sure the car is in good shape to do all those things. So that's the plan for early tomorrow morning. And then hopefully the girls will be feeling better and I will get to hang out with them, uh, for the rest of the day. And then, uh, Oh, actually, no, that's right. I have to go meet them at a, at a doctor's appointment at one point. But either way, hopefully I'll get to be with them the whole day after that. And then Thursday, the sa same thing. I'm hoping to hang out with them all day and because all I really have to do is do some laundry before I leave. And then Friday, another doctor's appointment I'm going to go go to them with and then uh, probably leave straight from there to head out to PA. That's the plan for right now, at least. So anyway, I think that's about it for today. Thank you, everybody, as always, for watching. This has been Abolitionist Jay. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace, y'all.